for your blessing. Get ready for your miracle. What up, world? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. God's got a blessing. Hold on, hold on. Y'all ain't hear me. God's got a blessing. I need to say it one more time. God's got a blessing. God's got a blessing. This is my part right here. God's got a blessing. God's got a blessing. God's got a blessing. With your name on it. With your name on it. Oh. God's got a blessing. God's got a blessing. With your name on it. 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 Oh my gosh. Okay. Let me stop because cause cause I let me tell you. As soon as I make this, as soon as I'm done making this video, I'm gonna, I'm gonna listen to that song like like five more times, <laughs> okay? Y'all need to hear this. All right, it's your woman butterfly. <sighs> I don't know where to start, y'all. So I'm just gonna go, okay? Um, for those of y'all who are new to my channel, I wanna say hey. Um, my channel is, <laughs> it's crazy because it started out as like beauty blogging and stuff that was just coming out of my brain and it turned into me vlogging my relationship with God. Okay. And, and, and just being open and honest about all the things that he's doing for me, you know, um, after I took like a leap of faith, I was like, I'm going to show the world what happens when you take a leap of faith out. I'm going to do it, God. I want them to see, okay? So here we are, he's showing up, okay? Now, I, I, you know, I'm, it feels like showing out to me. <laughs> so I'm excited about what else he like, it's just crazy. I'm excited because maybe this is like the tip of the iceberg. I just, I'm just like so in love with God. Like seriously, like God is love. I don't want anything in my life that's not of him. All right? Now let me tell y'all what happened. Okay. Yesterday. Um... Yesterday was St. Patrick's Day, and there was like this big parade downtown. Okay, <sighs> y'all, I'm just still taking it in. Okay, but it's okay. It's cool. I feel blessed. All right, so there was this big parade downtown, and I work downtown. All right, now before I went to work, like I'm getting it together. Like, I'm coming off of the street, getting it together with God's help. I'm not doing this without God. I've tried it without God. It didn't work. I'm God is helping me all the way, okay? So this is me doing my life with God's help because I've done my life without God's help, and that almost killed me, okay? So um, yesterday before work, I, I want things all right, uh, you know, you you have desires of your heart. Right now, I'm living in an apartment, and, you know, I'm, you know, your lease is up, and you got to move again, and all this stuff, and, you know, I mean, it's cool. I'm thankful. Don't get me wrong. I'm thankful. It's not a hotel where you got to get out the next day. You know, <laughs> I'm thankful for, for my apartment, okay? But, you know, you start to feel like you want a house, of course, you know, because you're paying rent, you know, and you find out that mortgage is... Mortgage can be way cheaper than rent, and you're making an investment on something that you can own. You know, you can rent out, or you can, like, you know, there's so many things that you can 
do with a house. You can leave it behind for your children. You can get more. You you know how you know you want a house. You know so. Um, I start to feel that um, frustration. So I was looking at houses before I um, went to work yesterday. So you know when you when you're looking at stuff that you want especially things of the world it's like you've got look at it desire it and then you know s still be thankful for what you have s still come back to reality okay because because um you can frustrate yourself by looking at things that you don't have yet you know and the devil knows that that's the reason why he set up you know um um that's the reason why he set up his system to to make you jealous. That's the reason why all these rappers rap about what you don't have and how you ain't got all these girls and you ain't got all this money. And it makes you frustrated to the point where you'll do anything to get it and you become ungrateful for what you do have and you just feel frustrated. So it's like, um, that's how I was feeling yesterday. I was online and I saw this house and I just fell completely in love with it. It was like, I want that house. Like, what did I got to do to get it? What did, what did I got to do? <laughs> That's how I was feeling. What did I got to do? Because because it's, it's like it just took over, okay? So I was going to work, and I was frustrated because I was like, I'm not going to get this house with a job like this. Like, I'm not going to get my house. This job is not going to get me a house. You know what I'm saying? And I'm I'm speaking that into the with into the universe, which is which is um not even true. Because because um where I work, I mean, first of all, you gotta take baby steps. You know, there's things that cost money, you gotta make sure your credit is right, you gotta start saving. So so f the fact that you even have a job is is good. Okay, but I wasn't looking at it like that yesterday. I was looking at it like like I need lots of money right now for the house okay so i already have that frustration in me and when you wake up not wake up but when when you wake up when you when you go to work when you go out into the world with a negative feeling the demons are ready to prey on that they prey on that negative feeling okay they come in any way they can to make it worse Okay, to the to the point where you sin somehow, whether you think a sin or whether you do a sin, they're like, hey, she's feeling sad today, so we're gonna go in there and make more stuff happen so that she can feel even worse and do something. Okay, so um, I'm going to work. All right, I'm frustrated. All right, because I want a house, this house. All right, um. There was this big parade downtown, okay? It was huge, all right? So I'm frustrated. I can't park where I usually park. And there's, like, all these bodies, all right? So I'm going through all these bodies, okay? And before I went to work, I picked up one of my coworkers, and I tried to vent to her about negativity at work, okay? So... She just got her teeth pulled. You know what I'm saying? She, you know, we're going to work. You know, we got to get that feeling of getting getting in here and getting this money. And, you know, but I'm venting about how horrible the job, you know, the, not, the, not how horrible it is, but the horrible things that happen. You know what I mean? So it's like when someone's riding to work with you, they don't want to hear that. Okay, I, you know, when I thought about it, I was like... <laughs> probably sounded freaking horrible especially since this is like like me and her are getting to know each other she's not like one of my homegirls already know me that probably would have set up there listening to that and be like you know she, like girl like are you okay you know so she was like whoa you know whoa like you know it's like you know and I've also talked to her about God and everything so so I gotta be careful with her because people that 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 um don't really know are it's like you gotta be just a little bit more careful, okay? Because because they they expect you to be happy all the time. To be they don't really quite understand that that um that when you have God in your life, something you ain't gonna be happy all the time. You know what I mean? So so they you know what I mean? Like it's like for you to have God in your life, you sure are a negative 
you know, you you talking about all this crazy stuff that's going on at work, you know, and it's like, I hear you, but you're going to one thing to another, to another, to another. You're not even giving me time to be like, you know, so it was like crazy. It was just downhill negativity. And I started to resent her and feel like, well, she's not even, she just, she's not even listening to me. You know what I mean? Because she got to the point where she was like, I'm going to have to put on my headphones for a second and listen to some positive uh, audio book because <laughs> you just made the vibe so bad. And on top of that, I just had my ways of teeth pulled. So, it's like, y'all, <laughs> it was just so crazy. So, now we're both. I've spread negativity to her. All right. And I was just, you see, I was going on about things at work that are actually normal things you know just work stuff it's it's a job okay so um and i'll get into a little into what i was going on about in a second but okay so we're we're we get out the car when we finally found a parking space all right and there's like all these people all these people with all these freaking makeup on and leprechauns and drunk people and people yelling and you know people shoving into you and it's like I hate that. It's like, move! I'm trying to get to work, okay? I understand y'all are having fun, all right? But I'm trying to get to my job that's not going to get me my house. You know what I'm saying? Just being so negative, right? My homegirl, she's like kind of leaving me a little bit. You know, she's like, come on. You know, she's taller. She walks faster. She's like, she's like, I'm not trying to leave you, but but you walking slow. You know, like, we got to get to work. And I'm like, I can't. You know, it's just... It was just like both of us had to calm down when we got to work and come back together after that walk to work because we ended up getting separated. But since the streets was blocked off for the parade, out of all those people, out of all, I thought she had made it to work. Out of all those people, all of those people that was down there, me and her just came back together again. And it's like, did you find a way out? No, I didn't find a way out. Let me follow you. We need to ask somebody. We need to stick together. Okay, so, so we finally made it to work. All right. I'm like seriously frustrated now. All right. But, but, but I gotta come to work. All right. <laughs> I clock in and it's like, I want a house. I want a house. Just grumbling and complaining. Grumbling and complaining. Okay. And God does not like grumbling and complaining. All right. And it's, it's like you just saying, hey, God, everything you've done for me is just crap. You know, just I'm not thankful for, for you opening my eyes this morning. I'm not, I'm not thankful that I'm still above ground today. I'm just I'm not thankful. I don't, I don't like this job that you gave me. I don't, I don't want, you know, just just grumbling and complaining. Right. OK, so my homegirl, she started to like talk to me and she was like, are you all right? You know, just just checking, you know, we just kind of were coming back together. I, it was awesome. It really was awesome. And and I was explaining to her that um like before before the we I come back down. Okay, I went up to almost having an anxiety attack. Okay, uh, for people who don't know exactly what an anxiety what an anxiety attack is like. I'm going to walk you through it a little bit, okay? At, different things can trigger it, you know what I mean? But this, this, and it's like, it's like, for for me, it's like a mixture of being mad, being sad, being frustrated, and it's just all bottled up, okay? And you can't do nothing but shake, okay? So, so that happened to me yesterday when I was at work because... I mean, and it's the normal stuff at work, but the demons were making it worse, okay? Because they were preying on my negative attitude, okay, that I had when I came in work, all right? So, so the, 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 the entry-level position at my job, all right, is, is a lot, all right? Like, you need to find a happy place while you're doing this. Okay, because not only is this not only is it St. Patrick's Day, but this is a high volume restaurant. Okay, so you're you're in the position 
where you have to take down those nasty bus tubs. Okay, you have to empty them. You were running up and down three flights of stairs. Okay, you have to clean mats. You have to do a lot. Like, it's a lot. Like, any little thing can make you explode. All right, and you, you have to... You have to do what I did tonight. I drank some coffee. All right, and usually I want to see my bed after work, but but I didn't want to see my bed today because I'm drinking coffee, and I got to get my house clean because God is blessing me. All right, so let me tell y'all. All right, so I'm going through work, all right? And, you know, the like I said, the position that I had, well, not only do you got to do your job, but, but you know, people need you. They need you to come to the table. They need you to come and help clear hands. They need you to, you know, and I was like, some people, you know, you got those people that kind of um, want to put their job on you, you know, you know, that, you know, so all that was going on, and I was like, I want to talk to somebody about this. Okay, I, the I, the managers, you know, at my job, they're like, okay, you are you always have a you always have an idea, you always have a you always that's great, that's a great idea, that's not. But you know, I go to them a lot, and and I, I feel like you can't do that at your job because you'll you'll too much because you'll start to be a nuisance, and then managers will be like, oh my gosh, she's coming to us again about. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you start to feel it. So I was feeling like I couldn't talk to anybody, all right? I feel like the, the essay is up, the server assistant, because that's, that's what I am. The server assistant upstairs is going to bring all her mats down here, and I'm going to clean them, and she's going to, you know, it was just a lot, <laughs> okay? I'm telling you, it was like on top of that, you got this dishwasher over here who keeps saying I'm fine, sexy, and black and chocolate and all this and being belligerent and rude and just thinking he can say anything to me when I come to work. You know what I mean? And then on top of all of that, you got the servers up here talking about how much they make and they over there talking about they make $1,200 and they check me $1,400 and I'm over here making half that, like doing twice as much work while they sitting there looking cute. I'm over here polishing all this silverware and I'm just freaking bust up if another piece of raw meat go under my fingernail. You know what I mean? So it's like, I just, like, my my eyes just teared up. And 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 that's the kind of stuff that always happens at work. That because you go in there with this negative attitude because you've seen a picture of this house and you want this house right now, it's extra. And, and it's like the demons was just making it extra. <laughs> it's like right when... I went to a table, I was trying to clear it off. Okay, the the, the guest said, excuse me, can you find our server? Um, I'm sitting there with dirty cups in my hand, and I'm like, um, do you know her name? No, we don't know her name. Oh, okay, I guess I'll find out who has this table, so I'm going going out, and then the host comes up to me and he's like, oh, excuse me, that table that you just set for four, we, and we need it set for two now, so you gotta take that stuff off. You, just, you know, I need you to do it right now, because these people were at the door, and it was like, ah! All right, I was about to scream in the middle of the floor, okay? But you cannot do because you are at work, all right? So, you you know, I uh, just went on and on. Like, I complained about it to, like, two people. And I'm like, you know, you can't talk to other servers about, you can't talk to servers about, you can't complain to them because you they're not your... They're not your friends. They're people that you work with. So they can take what you said and twist it and go tell the manager that you was complaining. And it's like, you'll be out of there if you run your mouth too much. So that's another reason why the anxiety kicked in. And I was like, who can fix this? <laughs> right? Okay. So when I was like, when my eyes were like, the tears didn't come out. I kept doing like this. You know, but I was about, I was shaking. Okay. Because I was about to have an anxiety attack. All right, and right on the brink of my attack, like when I have an anxiety attack, I have to run in the corner and like I'm gonna cry no matter where I am when I have my anxiety attack. Okay, it happens. It hasn't happened in 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 a long time, but 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 you know because I had that negative attitude going into work, it on a busy day like that, it was cu coming. Okay, so right when the tears was about to be thick enough to fall okay because they were I was able to sn snuck them back in like that but right when they were thick enough to fall um I got a text 
and it was from my sunshine ladies and she was like hey well um, you remember that washer and dryer that we said we had for you we're gonna deliver it on monday <laughs> right and i was like what like like right god doesn't want you to cry he wants you to calm down okay so so that was my uh my uh my uh i just calmed down and i was like the blessings are gonna come in time you've been you've been waiting on that wash and dry like oh it is such a blessing okay that i'm not gonna have to go to the laundromat no more i'm gonna be able to wash my clothes when i'm sleeping i'm not gonna have to wake up and be like gosh i'm gonna go. like i'm telling you it is really a blessing. I know some people out there like, I got to wash and dry. But when you haven't had one, okay, and you tired as a dog, and you got to get up and go to work the next day, but you got to get up extra early because you got to go to the laundry mat. You know what I'm saying? You got to take these clothes, haul them down the stairs, haul them back up. You know what I'm saying? You got to get there, and, and somebody might be using all the dryers, the small ones that cost 275 so now you got to use one that costs 375 When you, when you... Working at a high volume restaurant, you gotta go through that laundry man stuff. Oh, it adds on to the stress. Okay, you do look at this washer and dryer hookup and be like, hmm. When you start thinking of crazy stuff like, hmm, should I go over there around the corner and talk to errands and and uh, <laughs> oh, should I go to this? Should I? I I need these clean clothes now, so I can get out this door. Okay, so my blessing is gonna be here tomorrow. All right, so. That calmed me down to the point where I was like, y'all, yeah, this video is probably going to be like as long as it can be. I'm just going to talk until it, it cut off. Like, I don't like to make long videos, but I don't know because <laughs> there's more. All right. So I was, I calmed down and I was like, what, like all the feelings was just taken away. All right. I still felt like. I want that house, but I don't have it right now. And I don't need to come in here and say, this job is not gonna get me that house. Because because if I speak that and I believe that, then that's what's going to happen. I don't need to say that. I need to come in here and say, you know what, I'm gonna come in here and my check is gonna be to $114, $1,400 every week, okay? I need to come in and say, you know what? I'm going to be a GM running around here smiling. I'm going to be a manager running around. I'm going to be a key employee. I'm going to be a bartender back there making the most money in the house. Okay, I'm going to take that money and, and, and flip it. All right? I need to be saying that. I'm going to take that money and invest it somehow. Okay? I'm going to some, I'm gonna get down, 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 down uh, payment assistance. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to fix my credit. I'm going to get that house that's what i need to be saying okay so i found my friend again okay friend is a strong word okay but but she's getting there okay you everybody's not your friend of course you know I, you have to feel people out you and once you feel people out instead of looking for people to be your friend or looking for people to accept you you need to reverse that you need to see who's looking to protect you, to to speak good to you, to, to you. You need to make it hard, just like relationships. You don't just go around just looking for guys to accept you, or they're gonna take advantage of you. It's the same thing with friends, okay? Like you gotta let somebody, you gotta let it build up, all right? You gotta let them earn your trust, earn your respect, earn your, you know, and vice versa. So, um, I. I found her again. She was like, you okay? And I was like, yeah. I was like, you know, I just want to say something about earlier. You know, God is really dealing with me right now. Like, he's really showing me that I need to be thankful for this job. And she's like, yeah, that's exactly what's going on. Because she used the term the universe, you know. And, and um, you know, they say the universe this, the universe that. But it's God. That's the reason why now the same people that are saying the universe this, the universe that, they're saying, um, you know, the universe is alive now. It's a living, breathing thing. It's, it's God. He's everywhere. He's omnipresent. 
Okay. So, so I made it through my work night. Okay. And, and I'm like, I need to be more grateful for this job. Okay. We having a crazy St. Patrick's night, but I, I need to be thankful because I'm not out there where I used to be. All right. So I'm thankful. All right. I still want the house, but I'm thankful. All right. So let me tell you what else these demons did. Okay. Because they saw me have that anxiety attack. And then, like, if we could bring her to that, we need to do whatever we can to bring her to that. We like that. We like that shaking and crying and looking all depressed. And we like that. Right? After a long night at work. Okay. I get home. It's Saturday. I usually text Caterpillar and talk to her all the time, but I just I just couldn't on um on St. Patrick's Day, you know, and I'm like, I hope she's somewhere having fun. You know, she'll usually reach out to me if I haven't uh been able to talk to her. I'll pick up my phone and there's a text message from Caterpillar. All right. So I get home. Lay in my bed, which I was happy to see. I look at my phone. Okay, there is a text message from Caterpillar. And she's excited. Okay, she's... <sighs> Caterpillar wears glasses. Okay, she... Her eyes are not that good. Okay, um... I worry about her eyes sometimes, which I should. I should just pray and have confidence that um, God is is working on her eyes. You know, I worry when I see her with the phone just close to her eyes. I worry that, you know, when she, she you know, most children that wear glasses, they don't like to wear them because of the way they look. They want to look cute and all that. But, you know, they don't realize that glasses are cute. Well, some some of them do, but some of them are just like, I don't want to, I don't want to look cute with my glasses. You know, she, she's, um, she's been bugging and and saying that she wants contacts and 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 um she thinks that you know it's, it's really serious to her you know she's she's 14 so she's like i want contacts i'm gonna look you i want contacts i want contacts I want con you know and for me as a parent i'm thinking okay i hear you you want contacts you know it's not a priority right now you're 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 14 you know that's like a that's like a major thing you're taking you got to be clean you know i don't i don't i think that you shouldn't really worry about contacts right now maybe when you get older and you understand how you got to wash your hands and you can't fall asleep with them on but right now you're 14 and that's just like another i mean we're trying to get your skin clear and all that wearing contacts and having to clean them and all this craziness is is just another you're putting on yourself i mean we can practice that over the summer right now you need to focus on school put your glasses on and get out the door Right? So Caterpillar sends me a um, text message and she's like excited, right? And she's like, guess what, mommy? <laughs> right? And I'm like, what? And she's like, so I got these contacts, right? These colored contacts that, that my friend gave me and, and I put them in my eyes and they was so, like the way that I looked was so, um, she just said the way she looked was so lit or something like that. Something that these children are saying now. And, um, I got so mad, okay? I was pissed off, okay? And the reason why I was so livid was because the person that gave her the context... Okay, the person that gave my daughter that already has problems with her eyes, contacts that are not prescribed for her eyes. Okay, the person that did this is a, I mean, I'm, I, I, I don't like to say that I have enemies, all right, but it is a person that has disrespected me to the lowest of lows. Um, it's a person that has said that I'm stupid, that has told my daughter she wants to beat me up, that has, that has, you know, just told, I just get upset thinking about it. 
I need to calm down because the issue is actually not resolved yet. You know what I'm saying? And 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 I just got really mad because everybody in this world that reads um, knows that unprescribed context lens can make you go blind. Okay, it can make you go blind because of infections. It can make you go blind because it's not prescribed for your eye. All right, so so infection, the fact it 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 could suffocate your pupil. Like like we learned this in middle school when we was trying to be cute and wear them, and all of a sudden all this gray stuff just flew over your eye because your pupil cannot breathe. So now your eyelid is your your eye done turned red and it's swelling up and it's about to pop out your freaking head and you take the contact off. And you're like, oh my goodness. This ain't cute. Okay, no matter how much you wash it and clean it, it's not prescribed for your eye. Like, every year, the emergency room fills up with people who have popped them contacts from lenses in their eyes on Halloween. And now they got this big cut in their cornea. Because, like, I was so mad. Okay? Because I felt like I could not get mad. You know what I mean? And, and I was like, I just started to shake. Okay? Because... You know, and I just started to, you know, I'm texting my daughter back and I'm like, you need to get those contacts back because, but, 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 but the, the behind what drove the anger, because I got so mad that, that I just kind of saw red, it's like hot blood just filled up the back of my eyeballs and, 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 and I don't like to be that mad, you know what I'm saying? But my questions for God were, because people think that. That um, when you when you get saved, that you're supposed to be nice and happy all the time, but that's not that's not the case at all. You know, you still a human, and you still gonna have your human feelings. You just have learned to control those feelings. You learned how not to talk to people in any kind of way because you could be talking to God Himself. So you learn to take this type of anger to the cross, okay? Because you get so angry, and the reason why I was so angry. Is because I was like, God, this person has called me a stupid B and and all these names and talk about how retarded I am. Okay, but 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 you are so ignorant that you're giving a 14-year-old child, my child, okay, who 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 you say that you're gonna give a whooping to one day and all this craziness, you know, it's just like drama. You know what I'm saying? The same drama that, that, that entertains you when you're watching TV and then you man manifest it into your real life and it's like you don't like it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, how come I can't get mad? Okay. How come to reflect you, I still have to, like, I'm not, I don't say, I, I don't say that I hate anybody. Okay. I don't hate this person. I cannot. This is a person that God made. This is a person that, do, that, that is the way that, that she is because of a reason. You know what I'm saying? But this person says, no, she hates me. You know what I'm saying? This person, why can she do it? Okay, but I cannot say, you know what? You're a stupid bee. Why the F you give my daughter contacts and not prescribe for her eyes? Like, what the is wrong with you? You trying to make my daughter blind? I'm going to come down there and push, bust you in your face and all the stuff that you said you're going to do. Why can't I do it, God? It's necessary right now, God. You know what I'm saying? And, and I just got so mad because because I could not talk to my daughter about it. I can't talk to her dad the way I need to about it because he's not available to me to talk to her. I feel like this is urgent. You know what I mean? Like, I have to respect boundaries. I can't call my own child's father at 3 in the morning, which... Of course, I still will because he's he's my he's my child's father. But I'm saying like I'm the one that's a disrespectful bee when I gotta talk to him. Like I just got off work. It's two o'clock in the morning. I can't even sleep because I need to talk to him now about somebody giving my daughter a contact that's not prescribed for eyes. Like I'm solid. I is there's no outlet for the anger. And God was like, give it to me. I am the outlet for your anger. Okay, nobody's available for you to talk to right now because I am the outlet for your anger. Okay, I've been trying to show you that all day. So get on your knees and pray. Right? And when I got on my knees and prayed, okay, because cause I've been that angry before and it doesn't feel good. I don't, I don't like to be that angry. 
I don't like to because I don't know what I'm going to do. And I don't want to be doing nothing stupid right now. So, so, so I, I don't, I don't want to be in the paper. I don't want to be on the news. I don't want to be in the streets. I don't want to be out there fighting like a stupid dog. I want to, to, to have a good life. I want to be, I want to be in a good neighborhood. I want to, you know, I want my children to, to see that, you know, what I, mean? I want the world to be motivated and see that. So I got on my knees and I prayed, I prayed. Okay. And I was, I can't even pray. I was like, there was no words. I was just shaking. I was like, God, help me. Help me. I'm so angry. I was like, please help me. Like, God just had to hold me. He had to hold me. Okay. And that was the only thing that stopped the shaking. All right. And, and I, and God was like, find out if your daughter is all right. Because, because I, I tried to communicate with her dad about it, but there was just like some, there's, there's always, there's going to be miscommunication when you're texting, you know, and people are not, you're not, you're not talking to the person directly. So it was like, he thought I was talking about something else. Then, you know, it brought up some old mess. And then my daughter was like, why are you bringing up old mess? And I was like, I'm not talking about that. It was like, I need, okay. It was just a hot mess y'all. So, um, uh, I pray and I went to sleep. And I had the most peaceful sleep ever last night. It was so peaceful that I went to bed at 2 o'clock and I woke up at 7.30 a.m. because I had to be at work at 9 o'clock in the morning. And I was glowing when I came to work, okay? It was a totally different day. Today was a totally different day. It was the exact opposite of yesterday. Okay? Let me tell you. The restaurant, and this video is coming to an end, y'all. I know I'll talk, but you got to understand. Okay, God is, he's doing his thing. Like, he's doing this. he's really big. He's, like, doing his thing. Okay? I'm going to let him do his thing, Okay? I don't let him do his thing. Okay. So anyway, um, the restaurant that I work at, we've only been open for dinner. So I've only been working at night and I don't want to work at night. I want to be home at night. I want to be home in the evening. Like I want to go out, work during the day and, and come home in the evening. That's, that's, that was another frustration that I had last night at work. Right. I was like, I won't be here all night. You know what I mean? I, I hate being on at night. I haven't, I hate coming in my house. Home at night, you know, and just feeling like, ah, some of them crazy, some crazy demons in the tree are going to jump on me or something, right? So, um, we have only been open for dinner. We have just started opening for brunch, all right? And <laughs> it's like, it was like a different atmosphere. Like, the sun was shining. The restaurant was glowing. You know, I was happy. You know what I'm saying? When I got, when I was there yesterday... And I was putting out negative energy and I was feeling negative. Negative was coming back to me. It was like the whole thing was negative. You know what I'm saying? But today when I came to work and I felt happy. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all about my homegirl. I gave her a ride home too. And then we talked on the way home. And, you know, when I dropped her off, she, she's like, I told her a little bit more about my life on the way home. And then when I dropped her off, she called me and she was like, you know what? I didn't know you've been through all that. You are so strong. She was like, I had no idea. I cannot tell by your face. Like, I'm just so motivated and that, that you could go through all that and you still, you still trying, you know, just, she just, just went in. Like she just got in my heart. She, she got in my heart, man. But anyway, um, today when I got to work, it was just a different vibe. Like the sun was shining, you know, we got this new brunch menu and I'm a breakfast food person. Like I like to eat breakfast. I'll eat breakfast for dinner. I'll eat cereal, eggs. For dinner like i that warms my heart right so we got this new brunch menu and and it you know it's like it the the day shift is is you can tell it's going to be just as busy as the night shift all right it's it's probably going to be busier because people in savannah wake up early downtown you know they wake up early they're jogging at eight in the morning you know they hear the word brunch and they go absolutely crazy that's why anybody who opens a restaurant down there make sure they open for brunch because they know downtown Savannah is a brunch uh, 
a brunch busy place and you if you got the best brunch menu you better make some money okay especially if you got like mimosas and the bar is open too which our beautiful bar is open okay so people was there they was there there's a church right across the street too okay so whoever thought about that is a genius all right because people are gonna flock there right after they done in church all right so and that's what they did and there's still people left over from St. Patrick's Day. So we were busy and the menu was interesting and people were just loving me. Like, I, and you know, I heard God say, I heard God say, you are charming. You're going to be charming. You're going to be charm. He just kept saying, you're going to be charming. You're going to, I don't know why he kept saying, well, I kind of do, you know, because I've always, I've never, um, looked in the mirror and, and said, you're going to be this, you're going to be that. I've never been told that when I was a child. You know, I've always been told the opposite. So, so, um, God was just saying, um, you're going to be charming. You're so charming. Like, I was like, why does he keep saying that? So I walked up to my tables feeling charming. You know what I mean? The, the bar manager, he's like, he's like, noticing me right and he's like if he hand selects his uh bartenders and he's like um asking me questions about drinks and you know telling me that i need to like look more cheeky and that he that he likes the way i look behind the bar and you know he's like he's got his eyes on me for a bartender right and i'm like okay so i need to like show out somehow you know i'm gonna get my hair done tomorrow okay i'm gonna be cheeky tomorrow all right i'm thinking about going ahead and taking this bartender class so i can come in there and be like look i took a bartender class like i'm gonna freaking learn this whole menu of alcohol because our our food menu changes all the time every day you gotta learn it every single day okay but the bar stays the same like we might lose a little bit of alcohol and all that so if i can learn that food menu every day like that and it's every it's changing then i can definitely learn this alcohol okay so it's like and should I be back there pouring spirits? I don't know. Well, you know, if I go for it and God allows it, then um, then maybe there's a reason why he wants me back there. Maybe I need to minister to somebody and tell them, you know, maybe somebody's going to be sitting there getting drunk as heck one day and I need to, you know, tell them my, my experience about why you shouldn't drink so much or, you know, I'm going to get back there and be charming. Okay? <laughs> so... I'm not exactly sure, but I had a great day today, y'all. I was at work from 9 a.m. until, like, almost 12. <laughs> almost 12 a.m. <laughs> I was there for a long time. I was there all day. Yeah, I got. I had a little hour and a half break, but I my check going to be fat, okay? Because cause I got overtime. I'm telling you, I was there all day today. <laughs> And I'm really happy. When the night shift came, I was happy. I was like, everybody's like, why is she so happy? I was drinking my perk coffee, y'all. I was in such a good mood. I was singing. I was being goofy. Like, like, it's just coming together. I feel really good. God's got a blessing, okay? And when God's got a blessing, that's when them demons want to act up. Okay, and you know what? The week is about to start again, so the mailbox is gonna be moving again. So I'm gonna get some responses from the real estate commission because I already told my paperwork in. All right, I'm not worried about it. All right, I'm gonna be able to call these people tomorrow and ask them about this bartending class, and I'm going to make the money that I need for this house or whatever God wants me to have in the restaurant. And I'm thankful and grateful. For all of it. And as far as my daughters, my daughters, you know, I get on my knees and I pray for God to bring my family together. Because I don't just have Caterpillar. She's not my only daughter. I have two more daughters. Okay. And the story of how the demons just got in and sifted us and almost tried to kill all of us. It can be very inspiring if God just brings it together. Um, I feel like it could be a movie. Because 
there's people that are living in a fantasy land that they need to um, look into the life of others sometime to be humbled, to be inspired, to be to be moved somehow. God can use this story to bring people to him, to bring souls to him, to cast out these nets and get these souls to him. All right? So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> All right? So I will tell y'all about that one day. But shout out to my sister, too, okay? Because I'm going to post something on Facebook about her because God is telling me that she's feeling frustrated. My baby sister, she holds the family together like glue okay and then it like even her wedding was somewhat of a reunion and bringing everybody together and god is telling me that that is she's feeling exhausted she's feeling like i'm tired of being in the middle of stuff she's not she's god she needs to hear something from god about how you're doing such a great thing and how you that's the reason why you get the biggest crown and the biggest blessings because you're doing such a great thing you're laboring for god okay so let me stop y'all because i know y'all know i was starting a minute oh i will see y'all on the next episode of the butterfly show i need to get this house clean because my washer and dry ah! <laughs> gonna be looking good smelling clean smelling like a streak of lean bye babies <laughs>